Sailor Senshi, my name is Sailor Snubs, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am super excited because it is Usagi's birthday! Now of course Usagi's birthday is on June 30th, and because of that we see tons and tons of merchandise news which I have been covering for the past couple of weeks. But in celebration of Usagi's birthday, today I decided to do a little walkthrough of all the different Sailor Moon merchandise that I have collected throughout the years. Now I am fully aware that this is a rather small collection, but I'm very, very proud of it, and there are a lot of things that I just choose to not buy. I live in a rather small apartment, so this room that I'm recording in right now is actually also used as a guest room whenever we have guests, and since I live in San Francisco, which is a touristy city, we receive a lot of guests, our friends from college, our friends from high school, and a lot of family decide to come visit us. So instead of turning this room into a collection room, half of it is for my studio slash collection, and half of it is a guest room. But I have collected a ton of things that are extremely rare and hard to find and I'm so so proud of them. So today I'm going to show you what I've gotten so far. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and start with the top shelf so you can see everything that's up here. I am currently doing a voiceover as I walk around and show you everything on the bookshelf so it might sound a little bit echoey since I'm on the other side of the microphone. But up here on the top shelf you'll see my lovely lovely pull-up dolls. So I have a very small collection of pull-up dolls mostly because they take up a lot of space and they are rather expensive, but I did find Sailor V as well as Black Lady and Eternal Sailor Moon all for MSRP prices, so I decided to purchase each of those. I have pre-ordered Princess Kakyu the pull-up doll as well, so she will be joining this collection, but for now I just have the three, however I am thinking about reselling Sailor V, so if you know someone who could give her a good home, definitely let them know that I'm selling her. I should probably resell Black Lady as well, but she's so pretty I kind of just want to keep her. This cool little tiara was found by my friend at a convention and he brought it home for me and it was such a nice thing for him to do, so thank you Mr. Deliante. I appreciate you. Back here in the corner I have a very small pin collection, but I have other frames for my other pins as well. Of course I do have some proplicas over here, including the store edition of the Moonstick, which is still in its packaging. However, it does light up. I have taken it out and it works great. I am considering just setting it up outside of the packaging, but the packaging is so pretty. I just want to leave it in there. I do have a story behind these Noritake cups. My mom had Noritake china from when she got married back in the 80s, and I've always loved their china. I thought it was beautiful. So when I found out that Noritake was doing a collaboration with Sailor Moon, I just had to get their china and they are beautiful. In the center I have a very small collection of figure art zero and these are based on the classic anime Sailor Moon. I think they are absolutely gorgeous and I'm so disappointed that they never did the outer Sailor Scouts for these figure art zero. I really think they should have and they could have made a lot of money off of them. However, they are rather large, so they would have taken up a lot of space. This beauty that you see here, she is extremely rare. This is one of the Gashapons that was only available for 2,000 quantities, and they only made 2,000 of her. And she's, I believe, based on the live version of Sailor Moon. She's very, very beautiful, and because she is so rare, she's extremely hard to find these days. For some reason, mine leans back like a gangster, but you know, that's okay. She she just looks, she looks like a baller, so whatever. These Sailor V glasses you can currently find online, so they are doing a resale according to the Sailor Moon official website. I'm hoping that I can bring these to my optometrist and see if I can get my lens is actually replaced into these so I can wear them around. <laughs> if you're wondering what this is, it's not a scarf, it's called a tenugui and it's used in Japan for all sorts of things. It's used um, to wipe your hands, it's used to dry things, and it's used as decoration. So of course in here I'm using this tenugui as decoration. This little cutie is freaking adorable, so she goes on the top shelf with these amazing figure art zero. I have one of the soy sauce glass containers. It's extremely fragile, so it goes up here on the top shelf, and it's beautiful. However, I am missing the other two, so I am looking for those at a decent price. And behind all my babes, you have seen that before. That is my Grace Gift tote bag. Back here is a small fragrance diffuser that was available at the Sailor Moon store, and in front of that I have a couple of mugs. One is from Box Lunch Gifts, and the other one is a Noritake teacup and saucer. And both of these are full to the brim with keychains. The thing in the front here that you see is a USB fragrance diffuser, and behind that I have three different proplicas. Alright, so moving on to the second shelf, we have 
have my Petite Chata set. So I have collected a few of these over the past, I guess you would say six months or so. I was extremely late on starting to collect these, but once I found the Christmas set last year, I decided I needed to keep collecting them. So I'm slowly finding them at decent prices, and when I do, I just add them to the shelf. Eventually I'm gonna need something to lift them up to give them a little bit more space, but right now it works just fine. Behind them, you'll see one of the Q pot plates, as well as the tarot card set, and one of the Sailor Moon art books, as well as my super adorable Steiff teddy bear. On the middle section are all of my figure art zeros based on the Sailor Moon Crystal series. So I do have the full set of these, and they are absolutely gorgeous. They're some of my favorite figures that I've ever collected. Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to have some really pretty figurines of Sailor Saturn and Sailor Moon. Um, Sailor Saturn was always one of my favorites growing up, as well as Sailor Pluto, Mars, and Moon. So I never really had a favorite because I kind of identified as each of them for some reason or another. And that is why you'll see me lean a lot towards Sailor Pluto, Sailor Saturn, Mars and Moon in my collection. In the back is one of the Q-Pop posters, and I believe I'm going to end up hanging that somewhere. I just haven't found a place for it quite yet. And beside that is one of the rarest items in my collection. That is the Sailor Moon Infinity art book, which is also extremely hard to find at a decent price these days. Uh, if you go on eBay, you can usually find those for $1,500 to $2,500. I didn't pay that much. I paid less than a grand for it. And while that does sound like a lot of money, that's something that, this is my holy grail item. This is the one item that I've wanted for, for forever. And I finally got it in my collection and I almost cried when it came in the mail because I was so, so happy. So right now it lives right there. However, I don't know, I might protect it with a little cover and remove it somewhere and put it somewhere special and safe. But right now it lives back there because I just want to show it off. It's just so beautiful. And in the last corner on the shelf, I have the Career Beauté makeup line in the front. I don't have all of them, but I'm slowly getting all of them. I really think Career Beauté, or whatever they're called, is doing a stunning job with the makeup line, the Miracle Romance makeup that they have been creating. So I've uh, slowly been adding them to my collection as well. And behind the makeup, you'll see a couple more of the Q pot plate, the Sailor Moon Crystal Dice Game, the Dice Challenge, as well as a stuffed Sailor Saturn. I have Sailor Pluto back there and one more of the art books. Onto the third shelf. So here I have a couple of the cute little Funko Pops. I don't collect many Funko Pops, so I just have a couple of the Sailor Moon ones. I have a little bootleg Luna back there. <laughs> Behind her is one of the art books, and I also have all of the Sailor Moon manga. I'll just move that so you can see it. This is a Sailor Moon spinners collection. It's it's like pop tops, so you spin them and they can spin around on a table. They're actually pretty cool looking whenever they're spinning because of the sparkles on them. Uh, I think they're really cool, so I kept them. Um, my friend Russell brought them home from a trip to Japan, so thank you, Russell. They're awesome. Another small pin collection in the corner here. I definitely need to decorate that with some more smaller pins. And then we have this Samantha Vega bag in the front. In the middle section on my third bookshelf, I do have a pretty decent collection of Sailor Moon manga. I have the Japanese and English versions of the... I don't know which release these are called specifically, but I have all of those manga. I have some trading cards up at the top that I just kind of sat back there. Also, she's going in an unboxing video coming up. This is my new Mega House uh, World Uniform Kino Ray, so she's so pretty. In front of the manga, I have one of the Luna pouches from the Taiwan collaboration, as well as the salt and pepper shakers in the front, which are so cute. That hanging crystal is from Mega House as well. I have my Q Pot coaster collection. I'm still working on that collection, of course. My Luna timer, which I might have broke. Don't ask. And this little lady next to Luna is this incredible My Little Pony that my friend bought. I believe she found her on Etsy, but she's a handmade, hand painted, and she looks so freaking cute. So I love, love this My Little Pony. Thank you to my imaginary best friend. This side also includes one of the art books in the back, as well as a small pin collection. I have the original English manga. Many of those are the first volume, which I'm super excited about. The Funko Pop collection of the royal family, of course. And in the front, we have some mugs and cups. 
This eyeglass case is from the Princess One Spoon collection, and behind there we have a couple of more uh, Princess or Neo Queen Serenity items. This trunk that you see back here, which I had originally purchased at the exhibition in Tokyo, is full of 1990s trading cards. I don't have any more room for them, but I collected as many as I could. There's a few hundred just sitting in that trunk. I almost forgot. This is the 20th, 25th, 20th anniversary of the Starry Music Box, and it does work. It comes with the original chain, and it looks brand new. On the corner of my bookshelf over here, I have a small collection of Q-Pot accessories. So, so far I have each of the compacts that they have sold, and each of these are a necklace except for the bottom one, which obviously is a keychain. Okay, now we're on to the bottom bookshelf. So here we have a couple more art books, which I love, and then in front of that I have some of my purses. So I have a couple of Samantha Vega purses, a wallet, a couple of wallets actually, and the one that you see back there, the black Luna one, that's actually a bootleg, but you know, that's the best I can do right now, so that's what I got. But hey, because I have real ones as well as bootlegs, I could definitely do a video about bootlegs versus real, and why you should buy real as opposed to bootlegs, and how you can tell the difference. Down here are a couple more little bootleg items. First we have this adorable bouquet that my husband gave me for Valentine's Day, which I thought was so cute. And then back there, I'm gonna do a build video of this. This is a Gundam that looks like Sailor Moon, which is hilarious. Thank you to my imaginary best friend. In front of that, we have one of the Grace Gift Taiwan backpacks that looks like Luna, and it's so cute. And then you have my very small English Sailor Moon DVD and Blu-ray collection. I have been collecting all of the newer Blu-rays. I sold all of my old ones and decided to replace them with these and they are absolutely gorgeous, so I'm really happy I own those. Lastly, we have the back corner, which has a few more purses from Samantha Vega, as well as the limited edition fan club, uh, the white purse back there that you could get through the English fan club, one of my art books, and I have the Sailor Moon um, SH figure arts from Bandai, or I guess I should say Tamashi. But those are Sailor Saturn and Sailor Moon. They're the originals that came with extra bases. In these bags and boxes, I have my ginormous edition of Sailor Moon tote bags, as well as washcloths and towels. This box includes many stationary items that I have received. A lot of these are stickers, they're little bags, or they're letters and envelopes and things of that nature. Postcards, uh, there's a few little notepads in here, and whatnot. Will I ever use these things? Probably not. They're probably just going to end up staying in this box forever, but they're so pretty. I just don't want to use them. And then we have the much larger Grace Gift Daiwan box, which I have been putting all of my smaller washcloths in. So these are all the little hand towels that I've received. Uh, the one right here is from the exhibition that happened in Tokyo, which I was lucky enough to go to. And then I also have three of the very large towels that you could only find at the exhibition. These were also resold if you are a part of the fan club, so I was able to get these through the American Fan Club because when I went to the exhibition, they were sold out. Under there, you'll find a couple of little cells that I have collected. So I, here's an Usagi one, for example. And right behind there are a bunch of clear files that I have, which I honestly don't have a lot of clear files, but it's just because I usually don't fancy them. And over here on my little display table, I also have a few more pins. So that's about it for my ever-growing collection of Sailor Moon items. I do have some other things sitting around the household in my car, or I have clothing items all over my room. I have all of those Grace Gift Taiwan shoes that you've seen in previous videos. I also have some housewares. For example, I have the wine uh, stoppers that you could find on Amazon. And I also have some towels that I actually use, as well as a purse downstairs that I actually use every day, and a tote bag, and some jackets. So there's a bunch of stuff that's not included on this shelf because I use them daily. But I hope that you enjoyed seeing my collection and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here. Let me know if there's anything that you want to see more up close and I'd be happy to share them with you. Well, I hope that you enjoyed my collection room tour. I sure did. 
You will definitely be seeing a lot more added to this collection in the last half of 2018, as well as going into 2019. There are a lot of news and merchandise announcements that we have yet to see come out officially, but we can expect to see some really cool stuff happening in the next year or two. So I will definitely be keeping up with everything for y'all so you can see plenty of news and reviews right here on my YouTube channel. And with that, make sure to subscribe below and comment about what your favorite item from my collection was. I would love to know and maybe I'll do a video just for you. In fact, I would love to do some reviews of some of the products I have back here. They might be older, they might be from the 1990s, but who cares? They're still freaking awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. Happy birthday again to Usagi, and I'll see you next time. Jane!